And what is up guys, we're back with another video and today we're going to be acting to Sneeko actually calling out Fresh and Fit and destroying the godfather of Red Pill who is an old man. I don't know if you even know this guy, but his name is Rollo. He's this guy, old guy with a ponytail and glasses and he basically is like, looks like he's like 65 years old. Um, he, he, he wrote multiple books on like, I guess like this, the, not like red pill-ish stuff for like whatever, like men stuff and like. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Actually, we're gonna re react to the other video after of like when he actually gets on um the call with them. But this is like the first, like this is like the day before where like the t he basically sent him a tweet out. You're gonna see a tweet, like a bunch of lists of like, how to be a high value man, or the quickest way to become a high value man. And like obviously Sneeko is on a new like arc where he's kind of like trying to find out what what realm really fits him so it's kind of starting to question oh. starting to question things okay. and it's kind of wow. like a good thing but like can easily influenced if i would say that but um men should get vasectomies in their 20s the just 20s. to prevent this which i completely disagree with i think that it's important to to have family values and to and to prepare for everything. yeah for context this guy basically said that the eight ways are like avoid family creation get a vasectomy in your 20s um I don't think the rest was like, you know, get, go in the weight room, do this and that and that. But like the biggest thing that stirred everything was no family creation and getting a vasectomy as a guy. So which, like never having kids. Yeah, it's basically, yeah, it's basically, we're going to get into it, but like, yeah, not having kids. Eventual parenthood. But that's the, that's the cope that a lot of men have. Like why raise a family in this scenario? Why like risk having a child with somebody who's wanting to build an empire or wanting to be as famous as Rihanna? when you could just play it safe and do the snip snip. But hmm. I disagree with him completely. I, I wanna know what you think about that. Uh, Rolo, like the godfather red pill, who's pretty much like created a lot of these ideologies is saying like av avoid having a family. I think that's complete cope. Like that's just, that, that's when it becomes a black hole and really kind of black, like I think, sad, given, like, I think given the marketplace that we're in, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a reasonable, it's a reasonable uh, strategy. Avoid family? Well, here's the thing. The upsides are great, but the downsides will absolutely demolish you. I mean, you can look at the trad cons right now that's going through. I mean, look at Steven Crowder yeah, right now, bro. So it's like, and I think that's- So like, I want your opinion on what he said. So like, he basically thinks that like, there's always this, this big red pill thing where it's like, oh, you know, uh, you know how they hard on basically girls and stuff like that. He basically saying, so now we basically aren't allowed to have kids or anything like that like what's the point of all this like what's the point of doing this if you came with kids mm -hmm. it kind of like makes it dark like you basically yeah. don't like these not, i'm not saying like these red pillows don't like women but like you know there's like a certain way towards them and like you don't want kids and mm -hmm. you want to be with your guys all day it's kind of like empty an empty life yeah. basically it's one of those aspects that kind of shouldn't be involved in whatever the high value man list is it's like yes you know you're gonna spend maybe like, you know, less money. If you don't have kids, you'll have like all your time to dedicate to work or your boys, whatever. But it's like, that's pretty like lonely and sad. Kind of like the purpose of life is surrounding yourself with family and other people. But on the other hand, it's like, if you don't feel like you're, it's right for you to have kids. Like, I think that's okay too. I don't think you just shouldn't have kids because high value men shouldn't have kids you know i think it's like whatever feels right to you and your situation and who you are as a person that's why so many guys are going abroad because at least there, like the women value family more than here i mean a lot of the girls here said i want a family but if you notice like the things that they're working on isn't necessarily to be a better mom so i think one or two of you guys mentioned that but not many of you most of you guys were prioritizing your career and your education your own self-improvement which is great that's that's fantastic but that's more of a masculine thing like it, you got to ask yourself is the guy that you want is he going to want that back in return is he going to want another him i mean okay. i mean if, would you guys what if i lined up a bunch of dudes here and i said what are y'all going to do to get the wife of your dreams and they all said oh well i'm getting manicures i'm buying really nice designer i'm getting dressed up really well i'm doing my eyebrows i'm getting haircuts every week would y'all take those guys seriously no probably no. not right because the things they're working on only benefit them not necessarily you right yeah, yeah. so i mean that's kind of how you got to look at it from the male perspective like 
it's great that you guys are working on your money and everything, but it doesn't really benefit us as men. I think we should ask as well. Yeah. How many of you want kids with men? In terms of like, for example, having a father in the household too as well. I think everyone. Everybody? Yeah, yeah everybody. Everyone. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, Definitely. none of y'all want like a surrogate or anything like that? No. Yeah. Yeah. Surrogates spot. are usually like, because of an extraneous situation where a woman is not physically capable of carrying a baby. Mm -hmm. Like, he's like, oh, you you don't want a surrogate. Yeah. Like, that was kind of a dumb comment. It's spot on for the West. But I think that's why so many guys are going abroad, because women have more traditional values. I mean, <clears> I mean, <throat> hell, some of the girls here are foreign, but they still have fairly Western values, right? If, I, if we went to Romania or something like that, when we were there, like, girls aren't going to say, oh, yeah, my career and making money. They're like, fuck that shit. I want to be home. But the, the obsession, well, like, the reason he said that is, like, how to become a high-value man. Mm -hmm. The obsession with becoming high status and having other people admire you instead of reach your peak happiness which is having a family that's where it becomes kind of bleak like why what makes you high value other people's perception having a lot of money having a, a network like why does that matter why does being a high value man matter the way i think about it is like you're doing all that stuff for your kid in right. a sense like obviously some people are different like they want to like even if they have money like people like don't want to give any money to their kids but like you're still leading by an example like you're still mm -hmm. showing a kid like that's the whole point it's like if you have all this, it's like if you're rich and you have nobody, it's like you're just like empty. It's like what do yeah. you spend? Who do you spend the money with? Like you already bought everything right. for yourself. It's Unless like, you know you have other family members or children in your family that, like I know the whole Chelsea Handler thing. I don't know if you've heard how she's spoken about how she doesn't want to have kids, but she is like five brothers and sisters who all have children and she's just like focuses on being a good aunt and she has a lot of money but she's very close with her family and her siblings and her parents mm -hmm. and her nieces and nephews and i feel like in instances like that it's like that's great because she's sharing her time her you know resources her money with her family mm -hmm. and you know she has a reason to work hard and she's fulfilled in life and i think in that aspect i think that's great but i don't think it's like like I said before, don't have kids so you can just like do all of this that you need to do to be a high value man. The only thing about it is like, I believe that everyone should have kids because if I feel like if you don't have kids, I feel like we're put on the earth to have kids. I also feel like pump people don't have kids because they don't want to bear the responsibility of a kid. I feel like that's the biggest thing. They don't want like, oh, I'm going to lose money mm -hmm. or it's too much work or they're too annoying and stuff like that. But it's like, that's like the point of life. Like, don't you want to, you know, like your, not your legacy, but like, you don't you want to like you know like fall, go through the whole thing of life it's like after you you work so long or you do so long so this and travel it's like you want something else you want new experiences maybe you want yeah. maybe maybe you went to rome five billion times but now you want your experience rome with your kid or you know what i yeah. mean it's like how much can you really do with stuff i mean the only thing to that i will say is that, like i respect people kind of recognizing in themselves like oh i don't have a maternal or paternal you know um like bone in my body like I don't think I would be good with kids or things like that and I think people are able to recognize that like recognizing that they wouldn't be a good parent is like really important because think of all the people who are like oh I have so much trauma from my mom or trauma from my dad and it's like there's a lot of people out there who probably like shouldn't have had kids or never had the time for their children because mm. you know they were so focused on their careers like like you know parents who like had both very successful careers and like weren't around their kids that often or you know other situations and then on the other side of the coin there's the people who like literally should not be having children they don't have money they don't have education they don't have a way to support you know they're not in good relationships they don't have a good they're not stable you know people I, for whatever reasons i guess that's the point what he's saying too it's like i guess like he was oh, i don't want to skip to it but at least he's saying like the vasectomy well, part, it? like the whole, like think about how much life, let's say Sneeko, how much life his life would be different if he had a kid now, compared to now that he doesn't. It's like, oh, your life would be different, that's why you get a vasectomy, but it's like, it's not that extreme. I just don't think that vasectomy thing is relevant at all. I think a guy's talking about nothing, and he gets absolutely cooked by Destiny and Sneeko the next day. So we're gonna react to that next, guys. Let us know in the comment section, guys, what you're gonna see next. Wait, are you gonna ask me the question? I mean, I mean no, do you like Sneeko now? I'm starting to like him a little more. Okay, then, this yeah. is a big deal. All right, see you guys next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.